Compared to past nights, it was a smaller group of protesters that stayed the night in the main pro-democracy site in the heart of Hong Kong, despite warnings from authorities to clear the streets before the morning rush hour. The atmosphere was surprisingly calm and relaxed. An umbrella man statue was erected in the camp the week before protesters used umbrellas to defend themselves against police who used tear gas and pepper spray to try to disperse the crowds. The use of force turned public opinion against the police and brought more protesters to join what has been called the umbrella revolution. Neil Fong says if the police use force again, he is ready. Depends on what they use. If uh, they use very high level uh, army, we need we need to leave and come back. That's yeah. the plan. Run away and come back. Yeah, sure. We won't leave. Some small groups quietly discussed the cause that unites them, securing the right to vote without Beijing intervening in the process. Others played cards. We are just waiting for the revolution. Some, like Yen Choi and Tammy Tong, watch the police guarding government buildings. They say they will stay as long as they can if police try to force them out. If really dangerous here, I will leave because um, I know many friends and fam my family members also care about for this UN, but they really care about my security here. We all know that here is really dangerous. We have to leave if, um, if any action from the police, but we will try to stay here for the last minute to fight for anything we need, fight for the Hong Kong people who deserve it to have, yes. The deadline passed without any police action, but now time and exhaustion are taking a toll on the dwindling number of determined activists, leaving many to question how much longer they can hold their ground. Brian Patton, VOA News, Hong Kong.